Well, this is a very interesting story to say the least. Turns out that ever since Disney came out against Florida's law banning sexualization of kids under the age of eight, uh, they got backlash when they first came out against it, but they're still facing some of that now. You know, because if you don't know what happened, Florida came out with a law called uh, that was uh, labeled by the, the liberal media as a don't say gay bill. And all the law was saying is that essentially children under eight are not, basically essentially schools cannot teach uh, children under the age of eight about LGBT ideology, you know, because uh, young children cannot, are not able to understand this kind of stuff. And uh, Disney originally was going to be silent about the whole thing, but then they came out actually saying they're going to oppose it. And that caused a bit of a firestorm, and they're still getting some heat over that now. And in this case, turns out that uh, Disney is getting sued over the uh, response to "Don't Say Gay," the uh, "Don't Say Gay" law. It says here on Inside the Magic, Disney sued over "Don't Say Gay" response after months of backlash. And here's the thing too: it's a it's a family friendly company coming out against a law that is essentially protecting the innocence of children, saying that you know they're not old enough to understand this kind of stuff, so teachers shouldn't be telling this to kids. Says here on uh, Inside the Magic on the article, according to Bloomberg, the Walt Disney Company is now facing a lawsuit regarding how it handled the controversy, controversial "Don't Say Gay" situation in Florida earlier this year. The lawsuit states that Disney created uh, that Disney created far-reaching financial risk by publicly opposing the Florida law. The suit comes from Kenneth Simone, an investor in Disney, who filed the suit in November. Well, yeah, I mean that's just the result of what happens. Continuing on the article, uh, known as the Don't Say Gay Bill, this piece of legislation is as simple as the title, as stated by NPR. The legislation prohibits any instruction about sexuality or gender between kindergarten and third grade, or in a manner that is not age-appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students in accordance with state standards. Um, that's just common sense, because kids that young are not even... I mean, if a kid that young cannot understand, you know, what religion is, for example, what makes you think he can understand what gender transitions and sexuality are? It's it just uh, in line with how with their uh, developmental capabilities. But it says here, uh, continuing on in the article, in recent years, the Walt Disney Company has made great strides in making all its products and experiences more inclusive and welcoming to all people groups. However, one representation becoming a is becoming a big focal point for all companies across the world, and Disney guests have surely noticed a lot of changes, especially within the Disney parks. Yeah, because they're not reproducers, they're recruiters, the LGBT movement. That's why they want to invade a children's theme park with their ideology. Uh, says here, uh, uh, continuing on the article, However, as soon as word got out that the company had supported Florida's controversial parental light rights law, fans, employees, and leaders were stunned. Disney eventually took a stance against the bill, which caused friction between the company and the state of Florida, with Governor Ron DeSantis uh, continuing to escalate the battle with incendiary words and even more hostile actions. You know yeah exactly that's just the result you know uh it's a law about i mean you're you're a family-friendly company you should you know you should care about the children you should care about their innocence but they uh only thing they care about was pushing their woke liberal SJW ideology essentially under the guise of family friendly but it says here in the article uh, florida governor ron DeSantis threatened to take away disney's reedy creek district in response to this reedy creek which is controlled by disney can issue tax-free bonds levy taxes oversee land use and environmental protections and provide essential public services. Recently, the Florida governor took an even took even more action against the district. Quote, the financial repercussions from Disney's actions and resulting harm to the company and its stockholders uh, have been a shift and severe, Simone said, in his demand. That's the whole thing. And you see there, they got a picture of their fire department. But that's kind of the whole thing is that they originally came out. I think what happened was that, I because I remember seeing this whole thing, you know, uh, going down the news originally they came out and said they're gonna you know be non-political about the whole thing then there are some things about how they were allegedly supporting the bill you know and then they came out essentially after pressure from their employees uh which is funny because i don't remember when the employees tell the ceo how to run the company but i don't know that that, that could just be my view but essentially they uh pressured him the the ceo i think his name was uh yeah it was bob uh Chapek, or i call him bob paycheck to come out against the bill and say they're going to actively oppose the thing and that's how this whole firestorm came down and it's still going down now and rightfully so because you know they're actually essentially opposing a bill that is against the sexualization of kids under the age of eight yeah that that's your family friendly disney right there but they're so so concerned about pushing their woke liberal ideology that they just seem to overlook that 
So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.